Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum, dear students. So, uh, the topics that we will be discussing in today's lecture are uh, centrifugal compressors and axial flow compressor. So, if you remember in the previous class, we discussed about a rotodynamic machinery in general, and uh, then we talked about uh you know impulse turbine okay and also we draw the velocity triangles from where we can reduce and uh, we can extract the relevant relationships for uh, the power output and uh, similarly the efficient the diagram efficiency etc so Today, obviously, we will discuss generally what centrifugal compressor and exit flow compressors are and uh, how they work means we will discuss about their working principle. And then, as I told you that we will draw the velocity triangles for centrifugal compressor and exit flow compressor, right? And, uh, you know, these uh, uh, like after discussing these things there are also some auxiliary topics like degree of reaction and pre well etc so we will have to discuss about those things right so you see uh, <clears throat> if you remember we have a lot of lot of discussion about the compressors okay so you know very well that uh, a compression process is basically to increase the pressure of a fluid in order to make it travel to another place okay or you can use it for some other purposes and you know that uh, the compressor will then be a mechanical equipment that is used to increase the pressure of a compressible fluid so we have uh, different types of compressors over there right we have positive displacement compressors and rotodynamic type compressors or dynamic type compressor. So today we will discuss about those things, right? Okay, so what a centrifugal compressor is? Centrifugal compressor is uh, basically, it works on the principle of accelerating a gas to a high velocity and converting its kinetic energy into potential energy, right? by decelerating the case means that the impeller rotates and uh, it imparts or converts the kinetic energy to potential energy right so in other words you can say that a centrifugal compressor basically consists of um, a rotor in this case we are saying impeller to which a number of curved blade or veins are attached right let me have this uh, pointer over here i don't have that uh, right so these are basically these curved pins these are basically known as uh, impeller blades right this is impeller you can see this one right so the gas what happens is this is i right this is this one this is i right so the gas enters the eye of the impeller and it is accelerated to the outward edge of the impeller as it rotates so the gas comes here and uh, right and it is impinged in this impeller right and uh, then the impeller since rotates so it imparts kinetic energy to the working fluid that is impinging over here right and then after that these are basically the curved veins these are the veins they are stationary right so if you see here it then enters a diffuser where its direction is changed causing deceleration so if you see here the direction like it should 
you know the direction of the working fluid flow should be like this but you see here that there is a, a vein over here so the direction is changed this direction change is obviously it decelerates the fluid okay so accelerated by the impeller and decelerated by the veins okay are decelerated by the stators are uh, this diffuser section right and this deceleration converts the kinetic energy to potential energy and that is basically in the form of pressure and even if you look at this one so you see here the area of this if you look at the area okay this area that is the exit area right and this one will be the inlet area so the exit area is more than the inlet area this means that the for subsonic flow the pressure will increase right this is actually diffuser um, you know just we have discussed about the uh, nozzle that is the voice the, the reverse okay uh, in operation um, as far as diffuser is concerned so if you look at this one the area instead of decreasing in case of uh, nozzle it is increasing so the pressure will increase over here so first it is accelerated by the impeller then decelerated because the direction is changed okay and then after that it is you know you see this portion of the vein it is uh, configured like this that it is having larger area at the exit so the pressure is increased right and even if you look further to this volute casing right this casing so this is also a type of diffuser it further increases the pressure of the working fluid and at the end you are having a high pressure working fluid over here so the pressure of the working fluid at uh, entry let's say this is p1 so we are having the pressure p2 over here right so yahan se jo hai na aapke paas ye pressure is tarah increase karta hai right <coughs> So this is uh, generally the working principle of the compressor. And if you remember, I told you earlier that uh, in all types of these rotodynamic or turbo machines, we have a rotary part, right? That rotary part is impeller over here. In axial flow compressor, that will be a rotor. So the energy transfer takes place. If you remember, we discussed. now what is the energy transfer over here the energy transfer is that the fluid is entering the impeller at low energy right and uh, the impeller rotates and who is rotating this impeller obviously the input this is uh, you know mounted on the input shaft and we are working on this the work is consumed okay or the power is consumed by this impeller and that kinetic energy is converted to pressure energy is uh, you know we discussed okay so acceleration and deceleration takes place and that's why uh, you know the pressure is increased and uh, if you know such a compressor which works on this principle where the impeller increases the kinetic energy of the working fluid and you know then uh, the curved veins they decelerate the working fluid and when it exits the veins with a larger area the pressure is further increased and at the end it is given to the volute casing and the pressure is further increased over there also so in this way when the pressure of the working fluid is increased this type of compressor is known as centrifugal compressor right so this is actually the working principle the schematic and cutaway section uh, uh, you know the uh, diagram and this is the actual centrifugal compressor and if you, even if you look at this impeller of a centrifugal compressor over here okay so we have actually plateless impeller plateless impeller ka matlab ye hai ki aapke paas jo hai na just we are having you no know, one plate you know these are actually the blades right these are the blades okay and uh, if these blades are mounted on a single plate so this is single plate uh, impeller and if you have another plate over here okay 
on the top of this these blades so we have two blades impeller no different configuration are there okay and you can also see the direction of flow of uh, or the direction of rotation of the impeller as well as the direction of uh, flow or motion of the working fluid right now in discussing further about the centrifugal compressor the mechanical energy is provided to the rotor from some external source as we discussed because the compressors are power consuming devices so as the rotor rotates it sucks the air through i okay these are the things i discussed verbally and these are the black and whites are writing uh, over here increases pressure due to centrifugal force and uh, forces the air to flow over the diffuser finally the air at high pressure or higher pressure is delivered to the receiver and uh, you can see that in fact here the air enters the impeller radially and leaves the vanes axially okay this is important right as i told you that um, to draw the velocity diagram okay for uh, different types of uh, rotodynamic machines the basic principle remains the same okay we will be having you know absolute velocities relative velocities blade velocities the, the same angles okay you know um, alpha 1 alpha 2 right and beta 1 beta 2 etc so the, the most of the things are the same but here if you see like over there the nozzle was inclined in the impulse turbine the nozzle was inclined at certain angle okay so that was equally the angle of incidence over there alpha 1 now here are alpha i you can say inlet angle now here what they are saying that air enters the impeller radially right to so, up is radial ke ka matlab hai radially actually means this thing right that this is the i and this is the impeller so this is a radial radial entry okay so you will see that uh, in 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 the uh, velocity diagram that what equally we mean by this radial entry okay and leaves the vanes axially the curved vanes as well as the diffuser are so designed that the air enters and leaves their tips tangentially without shock okay and they are saying that okay we will also talk about this um, shock wave production also okay at some point because if this is actually exactly the radial entry okay so we are having only the um, flow velocity there will be no tangential velocity or viral velocity okay velocity of viral so this you know uh, high flow velocity actually makes or uh, it you know produces a shock wave now how to 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 you know avoid that shock wave we will discuss that we are actually having a pre viral over there okay or uh, we produce a pre viral moreover their surface is also made very smooth in order to minimize the friction losses obviously the surfaces of the impeller are the blades they are made uh, you know very smooth uh, for uh, you know in each and every blade if you look at even the compressors of uh, the you know the blades of the axial flow compressor you will see that they are very fine okay and they are very smooth the surface finish is very fine the work done by the centrifugal compressor are the power required to drive it can be found by velocity triangle so how much power is consumed or how much work per unit time is consumed by the compressor that can be found out with the help of you know velocity triangle so if you look at before uh, discussing this okay i, I actually took these uh, slides from some document i will um, share with you uh, you know uh, or google class room okay so if you see here the velocity triangles for moving blades of a centrifugal compressor so they are saying that consider a stream of air entering the curved blade at c where is c c is basically this point okay this is point c and uh, and leave it at d as shown in this particular figure okay and then they leave it at d you see here this is basically a from here to here this is a, a single blade of the impeller okay this is equally a single blade of the impeller like this this one this is equally taken as and this is you know separated from this uh, centrifugal compressor and this impeller and it is equally shown over here so this is equally the same blade so the air enters 
or uh, the working fluid enters at C, okay, here, and uh, this one is, uh, it leaves at D, right? And uh, then they are saying that uh, now we have to have some nomenclature. So now let us draw the velocity triangle at the inlet and outlet tips of the blades as this is shown over here. Okay. Obviously, we need to draw the velocity triangle inlet and exit. So inlet is basically to this inner tip. Okay. This one. This is the blade, the whole blade. So this is actually the inner tip and this is the outer tip. Right. So we need to draw the velocity triangle inner tip. We are drawing it. So this will be the inlet velocity triangle. And at the outlet tip, when we are drawing it, so this will be the outlet velocity triangle. Right? And we are having some nomenclature. What is that? A bit different from the one that we discussed for uh, the impulse turbine. So VB, linear velocity of the moving blade at inlet. Right? So blade velocity. This is the absolute velocity of the air entering the blade, right? And this is the relative velocity of the air, you know, to the moving blade at inlet, right? This is a relative velocity. And uh, they are saying that it is the vectorial difference between VB and V, as we discussed, right? This is what? This is the vectorial difference of VB and V. The blade velocity and the absolute velocity. It's called vectorial difference what I have, that is your relative velocity right and then we have vf that is velocity of flow at and let and theta angle which the relative velocity makes with the direction of motion of the blade previously this was alpha right so uh, this is for inlet okay and uh, for the outlet velocity triangle just we need to have the subscript one so vb1 will be the linear velocity of the moving blade at outlet and this you know um, v1 will be the absolute velocity of the air entering the blade at outlet and same is the case for vr1 vf1 and uh, for in, in place of theta we are having phi okay so it may be seen from the above that the original notation vb v vr vf stand for uh, the inlet triangles notations ruri hcha isko samajhna because you know these are used in the diagram so you need to know that the notation with suffix means one <clears throat> they are used for or they are stand for the outlet velocity triangle right so now if you understand uh, till this point okay the nomenclature that what we be we we are we f and theta etc they are uh, you know different you know notations for uh, the inlet and outlet velocity triangle then we can look at the velocity triangle also right so as i told you that this is a uh, uh, impeller okay this is the impeller part and these are equally the vanes so obviously the vanes are stationary and the blades are the impeller rotates okay so we need to separate this uh, impeller over here a blade of impeller okay ye ek blade of impeller hai. now just tarah humne dekha as we saw over here that air enters the impeller radially by this radial entry actually we mean that if you see here this is the eye this is radius okay radial this is radial this is radial okay so the this is radial entry this is what this is a radial entry right so if you see here now you need to look this is actually the main difference between the previous ones uh, that we discussed uh, like the velocity diagrams and this one the rest of the things will be the same mostly so this is actually the radial entry now this radial entry is what this is a you know this one is this radial entry from here this one this is radial entry okay so you say that this is a, the absolute velocity right and the blade rotates in this direction okay this is the blade rotation direction this one the blade is tarah rotate karta hai right the blade rotate is rotating like this the blade is rotating like this okay so this is the blade velocity and this one is the absolute velocity right and if you see here they are making an angle of what an angle of 90 degrees right so equally having this 90 degree angle okay you know, we will be having uh, zero viral velocity, right? Any previously, and obviously, the vectorial difference of uh, uh, 
uh, VB and uh, this V, the absolute velocity, this is the relative velocity at entry. So let us end the angle made by relative velocity with the uh, you know this uh, blade that is known uh, that is denoted by theta okay so this triangle a b c this triangle is the inlet velocity triangle all right so if you see here the velocity triangles for a centrifugal compressor if you look at this one so this there is no you know because you see here that let's say for example if you have a um the absolute velocity okay and there is some angle so you can uh, have two components of it right let's say for example if you are having this uh, velocity let's say is uh, directed like this so obviously we'll be having two components one will be a radial component and the other one will be tangential component right so this is not the case over here so for that reason this the whole of this velocity will be then velocity of flow. There will be no tangential component because if you look at the cos 90, cos 90 is what? Cos 90 is 0, right? Because uh, the horizontal component, okay, that is with cos and here the cos is 90 degrees. So cos 90 is 0 ke barabar hota hai. So for that reason, we don't have the viral velocity or velocity of viral or tangential component of velocity so whole of the velocity of the working fluid is velocity of flow okay that is here is written v is equal to vf that is velocity of flow there is no tangential velocity over here right so um so for that reason uh, because of this huge velocity and that is flow velocity okay if you remember over there we have actually a very small amount of this uh, flow velocity uh, okay but here this velocity is uh, too much the whole of the absolute velocity is the flow velocity so for that reason <clears throat> it actually is impinging with a high velocity here and it, it, it produces a shock wave over here okay so is the johanna yeah pe shock wave produce hota hai so to avoid this shock wave what happens is that this radial entry is a bit diverted tk is ko radial nahi ye jo angle hai na 90 is ko hum thoda sa change karte hai tk the entry of the working fluid through i is not you know exactly radial or having 90 degree angle with the blade velocity but it is actually diverted and having some other angle other than uh, some angle that is other than 90 degree and uh, this way obviously if you are having this type of entry r if you are decreasing this angle uh, so obviously we'll be having two components one will be have one will be the flow component and other one will be the tangential component and that tangential component of the velocity is causing whirl in this blade and that is basically known as a pre-whirl so pre-whirl ka ek phenomena yaha pe hota hai achha ye direction kaise hum change karte hain direction is changed using uh, you know guide vanes yaha pe guide vanes hoti hai thik hai jis tarah mein aapko bataya tha in axial flow compressors and axial flow uh, you know compressors we are also having waha pe aap dek lenge we are also having guide vanes that changes the direction of the working fluid at the entry ठीक है तो उसकी जो एंगल आप रखना चाहते हैं तो वो एंगल जो है ना आप रख सकते हैं गाइड वेंस आर फिक्स्ड ठीक है दे आर आल्सो नोन एज विकेट गेट्स दे आर फिक्स्ड यू नो जो हमारे पास जो टरबाइंस होती है ना दैट इज इन हाइड्रोलिक टरबाइंस सो दे आर विकेट गेट्स दोस विकेट गेट्स आर नथिंग बट द गाइड वेंस दे एक्चुअली एंड दे आर फिक्स्ड यू कैन चेंज द डायरेक्शन बट यू नो you need to uh, stop the the process and then you can change it just like changing the pitch of the propeller in uh, propeller type aircraft so you can have you know then a uh, pre viral yani hum khud jo hai na isme viral jo hai wo produce karte hain anyway so then after that we have this um, exit velocity triangle so you see here this is the uh, blade velocity okay blade velocity when the blade is moving in this direction right 
so this is actually the blade is moving in this direction so this is uh, this one is uh, the um, blade velocity and uh, then v1 is the absolute velocity in this direction right because the, the absolute velocity direction remains the same okay ye jo hai na iski direction same hogi relative ki jo hai na wo pe different ho jati hai right this is actually the relative velocity direction jis tarah ye main bataya tha ki entry to the impeller is radial and uh, its uh, exit is a uh, uh, you know axial theek hai so this is actually the axial uh, uh, exit right so this is v1 the absolute velocity at uh, exit and this one is uh, you know this is vb this one f e r e f this is vb1 and uh, the angle between uh, you know these two is denoted by Uh, beta and the angle between vr1 and vb1 is denoted by phi and if you you know now here we are having what we are having uh, you know an angle between vb and v1 vb1 and v1 there is an angle beta that is what that is less than 90 degree to yahan pe aapke paas per component honge right so v1 is then I resolve into two components one is vw1 that is the causing whirl and the other one is vf1 this one this vertical one this is uh, the velocity of flow right so if you look at these two uh, velocity triangles and uh, make a uh, combined velocity triangle okay or even from uh, these two you can uh, so so even a uh, smaller one is also given over here this is the outwell velocity triangle and this one is the inlet velocity triangle now from these two triangles if you look so yahan se jo hai na aapke paas uh, you can find out uh, that uh, how much uh, power is consumed by the compressor okay so the air enters the blades along uh, ac this is the explanation okay ye aap khud phir dekh sakte hain the air enters the blades along ac with a velocity v since the air enters the blade at right angle ye humne discuss kiya right radially to the direction of motion of the blade therefore velocity of flow is there will be equal to the air velocity the air velocity is uh, basically the velocity of flow okay moreover velocity of whirl at inlet will be zero because of that 90 degree angle right uh, the linear velocity or mean velocity of the blade vb is represented by ba in this particular diagram this is ba ba is your blade velocity and uh, you know the length bc represents the relative velocity right the pic, the, the vectorial difference of vb and this v is a uh, your vr right and uh, they are then saying that the air now glides over and leaves the blade with a relative velocity vr1 which is represented by de this one this is your relative velocity vr1 okay so the absolute velocity of air v1 is uh, it leaves the blade is represented by df inclined at an angle of beta with the direction of the blade motion right so this is your v1 and it is inclined at uh, beta with the direction of motion of the blade and uh, then they are having two component the tangential component of v1 represented by fg is known as a uh, vw1 okay ye fg jo hai na this one fg this is your vw1 and uh, you know the axial component of v1 represented by dg is known as r this is the velocity of flow over here okay so if you know this m is mass of air compressed by the compressor in kg per second so using newton's law you see that force um you know applied on the blade will be what mass of air flowing m into change of velocity right is the same thing right so वही फार्मूला है एम डॉट इन टू वी टू माइनस वी वन आर सी टू माइनस सी वन सो एम एंड दिस इज द विलास्टी डिफरेंस दे आर इन द अपोजिट डायरेक्शन सो इसलिए जो है ना इसको यहाँ पे यू नो माइनस जो है वो प्लस हो जाता है राइट एंड सिंस यू नो वेरी वेल दैट दिस इज बेसिकली वी डब्ल्यू दैट इज विलास्टी ऑफ वर्ल एट एन एच विच इज विच इज वॉट विच इज जीरो over here because the entry to the centrifugal compressor is radial so ye v w jo hai na wo zero jata hai to iska matlab ye hai ki jo force apply hoga on the blade that will be m into v w1 where m is the mass in kg per second and it should be m dot and uh, v w1 is the velocity of whirl at outlet okay now the power is very simple you just need to multiply 
this uh, force with what? With the velocity of or the blade velocity. Okay, V B one. So यहाँ से जो है ना आपके पास क्या आ जाएगा? This is the power consumed by the compressor. Okay, or the power required to drive the compressor. Right. In further explanation is a little bit about you know how to find out this V B and uh, this V B one. So you see here they are the linear velocities. Okay. तो VB क्या है बेसिकली VB इज द लीनियर वेलोसिटी एट द इनलेट टिप राइट एंड VB1 इज द लीनियर वेलोसिटी एट द आउटलेट टिप यहां पे राइट द लीनियर वेलोसिटी VB यहां से और ये जो है ना आपके पास दिस इज आउटलेट टिप इन ये ये दिस इज यू नो वी हैव एक्चुअली दिस जिसको हम कहते हैं रूट राइट एंड दिस वन इज द आउटर टिप सो रूट के ऊपर आपके पास जो वेलोसिटी है और इसको हम फाइंड आउट कर सकते हैं बिकॉज यू नो दिस वी बी इज पाई डी एन ओवर सिक्सटी वेयर डी इज द इनर डायमीटर यहाँ पे शायद कहीं लिखा होगा इन इंटरनल डायमीटर इंटरनल डायमीटर एंड डी वन इज द वी बी वन इज पाई डी वन इन ओवर सिक्सटी ठीक है ये जो है ना आपके पास एक्सटर्नल डायमीटर है तो इंटरनल डायमीटर एंड एक्सटर्नल डायमीटर यहाँ से आप देखेंगे ओके दिस इज यू नो इफ यू आर हैविंग the radius from this 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 point okay so this will be your d and this will be your d1 right and other things are constant or you can find out the value of n from the tachometer yaha se jo hai na aap n ko jo hai wo find out kar sakte hain so all the things are known so you can find out what the you know blade velocity at out it will be and obviously it will be greater than vb and the reason is very obvious right because this d is increased from d to d1 baki do cheeze to same hai but this d is increased so for that reason you know this blade velocity will be uh, over here this is increased and this is uh, more than vb1 right they are then saying that okay where d and d1 are the internal and external diameters of the ampere and uh, under ideal conditions are in other words for maximum work maximum work ke liye aapke paas kya hona chahiye ki the velocity of whirl at outlet it should be equal to velocity of uh, blade velocity at outlet okay to ye means that actually this is causing totally uh, whirl in the ब्लेड ओके जो आपके पास ब्लेड की वेलोसिटी है ना इट इज कंप्लीटली यू नो कन्वर्टेड टू इंक्रीज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द वर्किंग फ्लूड राइट सो फॉर दैट रीजन दे आर सेइंग दैट द आइडियल वर्क विल बी इक्वल टू यू नो एम वी डब्ल्यू 1 होल स्क्वायर आर इन प्लेस ऑफ वी डब्ल्यू 1 यू कैन आल्सो राइट वी बी 1 दैट इज द ब्लेड वेलोसिटी एट एग्जिट सो इफ यू वांट टू फाइंड आउट द मैक्सिमम वर्क ओके Are uh, the condition where we will be having maximum work? Uh, okay, uh, then you can use this uh, simple relationship, right? Okay, if you understand till this point, so this was actually about the velocity triangles, about the axial flow compressor. Okay, so you see uh, most of the things are the same, but uh, you know uh, there is actually a condition where the entry of the working fluid is at uh, you know this um, radially so there is no uh, whirl velocity over here at first right okay there is a simple simple example um, you can just do it right and uh, you know um A centrifugal compressor running at 2000 RPM receives air at 17 degree C. So your T1 is given. You can convert it to K1, right? If the outer diameter of the blade is 750 millimeter, so 0.75 meter is the outer diameter D1. Find the temperature of air leaving the compressor. You need to find out what. You need to find out T2. That is the temperature of the air leaving the compressor. Take Cp is equal to one kilojoule per kilogram K1, right? so you know we have this simple formula that uh, the out the um, blade velocity at outlet is equal to pi da1 n over 60 so from here you can find out vb1 right and you know very well that uh, work done is equal to what is equal to maximum work done is equal to m vb1 so we have mass and similarly 
you can find out uh, 6.178 kilojoule per second and we also know that this is actually the maximum work right and uh, you know the work is also mcp delta t right so in terms of uh, enthalpies so this is uh, w is equal to mcp delta t so work we have found out the value of that and then mcp t2 minus t1 all the things except t2 are given so you can find out the value of t2 that comes out to be 23.178 degree centigrade right so this comes up yeah okay during this compression process although we don't want the air to be you know heated at the working fluid uh temperature should be increased but it is increased a little bit about five to six degrees and it is like this right and there is another uh, you know example okay i think you can also do this um this is actually particularly you need to draw the diagram over there but they are saying that a rotary air compressor a rotary compressor see how murad centrifugal compressor here working between one bar one bar and 2.5 bar has the internal and external diameter of impeller d1 and d2 they are uh, sorry d and d1 are given to you the vane angle at inlet and outlet are 30 and 45 degrees right so these are actually the vane angle at inlet and outlet if the air enters the impeller at uh, the when stationary hoti hai at uh, 15 meter per second enter the impeller the air enters the impeller ye aap ye basically aapke paas absolute velocity at entry hai jo ki flow velocity hoti hai find speed of the impeller in rpm 1 and work done by the compressor or work consumed by the compressor per kg of air okay so p1 is given to you p2 is also given to you d d1 are, are given to you and theta and phi are given to you right and uh, absolute velocity is also given to you you need to find out these two things right so in jo hai na aapke paas kya hai speed of the impeller in rpm hai to ye refer karta hai kis cheez ko um, triangle 29.6 ko theek hai तो यहाँ पे आप अगर देख लें दिस इज एक्चुअली दैट फिगर सो फ्रॉम दिस वन यू विल सी दैट जो हमारे पास वी बी है बल्कि आप टेन जन थर्टी अगर आप देख लेना बहरहाल इसमें एक्सप्लेनेशन की ज़्यादा जरूरत नहीं है यू नो वेरी वेल दिस थिंग ठीक है टेन जन थर्टी दिस फ्रॉम हेयर दिस इनलेट वन टेन जन थर्टी दैट इज यूर वी बाई वी बी दैट इज इक्वल टू वी बाई वी बी इज टेन जन थर्टी तो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन टू फाइंड आउट वी बी तो वो ये जो है ना आप क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई करके यू कैन जस्ट लुक एट दिस वन ठीक है तो यू कैन फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ वी बी दैट इज द ब्लेड वेलोसिटी एट एन लेट राइट एंड यू नो वेरी वेल दैट ब्लेड वेलोसिटी वी बी इज इक्वल टू पाई डी एन ओवर सिक्सटी तो यहाँ पे तो यहाँ पे जो आर पी जो है ना इसका सॉरी आर सेम होगा आर जो है ना आप फाइंड आउट कर सकते हैं राइट देन वर्क डन बाई द कंप्रेसर पर के ऑफ एयर okay so from the same triangle you know we need to find out what we need to find out bb1 theek hai to ye aapke paas ye hai vb1 divided by vb is equal to kya hoga main directly aapko batata hu pi d1 over 60 right and down there we will be having pi d n over 60 theek hai to n n pi pi ye sare cancel out ho jayenge 60 cc cancel out ho jayega aapke paas just d1 by d2 reh jayega d1 by d uh, sorry d1 by d and if you cross multiply this so you can find out the value of vb1 vb is known to you d1 and d are known to you so you can find out that vb1 will be equal to 51.96 meter per second right and uh, when asked you of well at outlet from the same diagram theek hai kyunki yahan pe likha hai कि ये जो हमारे पास विलासिटी ऑफ फ्लो एट आउटलेट है एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू विलासिटी ऑफ फ्लो एट इनलेट एंड दिस इज द एब्सोल्यूट विलासिटी व्हिच इज गिवन टू यू दैट इज 15 मीटर पर सेकंड राइट सो वी डब्ल्यू वन आप जो है ना फाइंड आउट कर सकते हैं इसी डायग्राम से वेयर इज दैट वी डब्ल्यू वन तो यहाँ से जो है ना आप फाइंड आउट कैसे फाइंड आउट करेंगे वी बी वन ठीक है वी बी वन ठीक है माइनस यहाँ से जो है यू कैन फाइंड आउट दिस वेल्यू ठीक है या इफ यू सी हेयर so you can find out uh, the value from here also just playing with that uh, you know triangle hai theek hai you can find out the value of that that comes out to be uh, 36.9 meter per second theek hai aur agar aapne maximum power jo hai wo uh, work done by the compressor or work consumed by the compressor aapne work done should not be there it should be work work done 
by the compressor on air aap keh sakte hain that will be m right this is actually the uh, kg of air per kg of air to ye this is actually the relevant formula theek hai is a force and this one is the velocity that is basically this should be w dot theek hai jisko hum power kehte hain that comes out to be in joule per second 19 20.44 ye aapke paas yahan se aa jayega right okay so this was all about compressor centrifugal compressor theek hai now the next topic is about the axial flow compressor theek hai to ye thoda bahut humne discuss kiya bhi hai when we were discussing about the gas turbine power plant but let us look at this thing in detail what this this axial flow compressor is so you see here that axial flow compressor is in its simplest form consists of a number of rotating blade rows fixed to a rotating drum ye jo hai na aapke paas kya hai this is a rotating drum theek hai this one this is a rotating drum into which curved blades okay are rotating blades these are the blades they are mounted on you remember this is a cutaway section theek hai to ye jo hai na aapke paas kya hai blades hain they are mounted on this drum right and the drum rotates inside an air tight casing to which a fixed stator blade rows is shown in this particular figure they are attached right as i told you that basically this is a drum upon which blades are mounted and uh, the combination of the drum and blade this this is basically known as rotor a rotary part of the air compressor okay since we discussed earlier that there could be you know uh, there should be some you know runner or impeller or rotor so this is actually that rotor okay which imparts kinetic energy to the working fluid one then the blades are made of aerofile cross section to reduce the loss caused by the turbulence and boundary separation obviously these are actually to to avoid losses Uh, they are actually uh, made of aerofile cross section okay and very smooth uh, aerofile cross section theek hai in order to avoid friction right so this is the rotor blades mounted on this drum this constitutes this rotor and this is uh, encapsulated and this is inside this air tight uh, casing okay but as i told you that the casing is not a simple casing okay on the periphery of uh, the casing we have rows of fixed blades okay these are known as vanes is called fixed blades to jo drum ke upar mounted hai isko hum blades kehte hain and the casing ke upar jo mounted hai usko hum kehte hain rotor and stator right so these are uh, uh, this is rotor and uh, when you put this rotor inside this air tight casing uh, you know this equally makes the, these all these as a stators okay and you know this uh, row of blades and a row of stator this is known as one stage of a compressor theek hai so agar is cheez ko aap dekh le so this is one stage of a compressor 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is actually jis tarah aapne wahan pe dekha tha theek hai maine aapko bataya tha ki we will discuss about this thing later on so this is seven stage axial flow compressor theek hai to yahan pe jo hai na this is uh, your casing this is uh, you know the air enters here okay and it exits from here and uh, the the fluid is accelerated initially right and uh, then decelerated uh, using these uh, fixed blades okay and this acceleration and deceleration basically causes the pressure to increase theek hai ye pressure dusri baat ye bhi hai ki even if you look at the ye to cutaway section hai even if you look at the configuration um, of uh, you know these uh, fixed blades to ye jo hai na aapke paas ek divergent section banate hain means a type of diffuser okay so you will see that even uh, if you look uh, to the isometric view of the axial flow turbine okay so 
the you know the the blades will be converging in shape right they will be converging in shape ka matlab ye hai ki they are increasing the velocity and it, as a result the pressure is decreased but uh, in case of compressor they are the vice versa you know the um, two blades okay they will be uh, or you can say that uh, their cross section will be like such like um the area will be increasing when the air travels uh, from left to rightward so the air increase ka matlab ye hai ki aapke paas jo hai wo air jo pressure hai wo increase hoga and with it will look like a diffuser so exit flow compressor ka schematic diagram hai and this is the actual diagram this is the rotor okay this is a uh, rows of blades jiska agar aap cut kar lena so you will just see a single blade up there and down there this is a cutaway section and you know this is the uh, rotor okay so this is a row of blades okay and if you see here so there is a space between these two rows okay that space is basically filled by these uh, when you you know um, uh, fix this rotor inside the casing so you jo ke paas space hai na this space is occupied by the fixed blades theek hai to isliye jo hai na aapke paas ब्लेड एंड स्टेटर ठीक है एंड सिमिलरली यहाँ पे आपके पास ब्लेड्स एंड वेंस ब्लेड्स एंड वेंस तो ये जो है ना आपके पास डिफरेंट कन्फिग्रेशन के डिफरेंट स्टेजेस के कंप्रेसर बनेगी ठीक है सो दे आर सेंग दैट द मैकेनिकल इनर्जी इज प्रोवाइडेड टू द रोटेटिंग शाफ्ट ऑब्वियसली एंड फ्रॉम फीयर लाइक इन केस ऑफ द गेस्ट और बाइन वी सेड दैट द हाई प्रेशर टर्बाइन इज डिडिकेटेड Uh, are the power produced by the high pressure turbine is purely utilized by the compressor so equally this is this this is that power okay that uh, the shaft is rotating which shaft this shaft okay and the power is uh, given to the shaft by the high pressure turbine okay which rotates the drum the air enters from the left side of the compressor from here right and uh, as the drum rotates the air flows through the alternately arranged stator and rotor so stator rotor stator rotor okay so rotor accelerates this and stator decelerates this okay and even further the arrangement is like this that they leave this uh, blades and uh, stators uh, in a, a divergent section so the pressure is increased over there as the air flows from one set of stator and uh, rotor to another it gets compressed okay वन सेट ऑफ स्टेटर से दूसरे स्टेटर एंड रोटर से दूसरे में जाता है ना तो उसकी कन्फिग्रेशन ऐसी है कि वो डाइवर्जिंग सेक्शन है और इसलिए जो है ना ये कंप्रेस होता है द सक्सेसिव कंप्रेशन ऑफ द एयर इन ऑल द सेट्स ऑफ स्टेटर एंड रोटर द एयर इज डिलीवर्ड एट हाई प्रेशर एट द आउटलेट ओके सो द मोर आर द नंबर ऑफ स्टेजेस द मोर इज द एयर कंप्रेस्ड ठीक है तो अगर आपने ज्यादा कंप्रेस करना है तो ये स्टेजेस जो है ना हमारे पास ज्यादा होती हैं ठीक है दिस इज कंट्रोल्ड ये स्टेजेस अगर ना हो ना यू रिमेंबर राइट फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई रिमूव दिस रोटर एंड यू नो दिस दिस स्टेटर्स ठीक है इफ आई रिमूव द रोटर एंड स्टेटर एंड लेट से फॉर एग्जांपल द एयर एंटर्स फ्रॉम दिस साइड तो दिस इज डाइवर्जिंग सेक्शन बेस्ड ऑन द लेंथ and the inlet and outlet area the air will be compressed the pressure will increase for subsonic flow right but it is not controlled now here if you want to compress it more you need to impart or you know have the kinetic energy that is converted to you know pressure energy to aapne phir iski staging karni hogi theek hai na the more later on we will discuss uh, degree of reaction the more the air is in contact with the rotor the more will be the kinetic energy converted to the fluid okay and uh, in this way you can have more pressure from the exit flow compressor right this is the inlet and outlet velocity triangles thoda sa ye hai mere khayal mein this is actually the ye aapke paas axis hai acha ye this one this is ye axis of ye yahan pe aapke paas hai right थोड़ा सा इसने सेपरेट वेलोसिटी डायग्राम है और कंबाइंड वेलोसिटी डायग्राम है इसको थोड़ा सा आप देख लें एयर जो है ना यहाँ से ऐसे एंटर होता है ठीक है द एयर एंटर्स फ्रॉम हेयर जिस तरह आपने ये देखा द एयर एंटर्स फ्रॉम हेयर अच्छा इसमें थोड़ा सा आप देखेंगे कि भाई एयर तो यहाँ से 
इसको मैं रब करता हूँ अच्छा बिकॉज right so if you look at the inlet and outlet these are the blades right uh, yeah this is the rotor is rotating jis tarah maine aapko bataya the rotor will be rotating in this direction okay rotor rotors are rotating like this is tarah rotate karte hain theek hai so this is actually the blade di uh, direction of rotation theek hai evb jis tarah likha hai so this will be the you know the uh, rotor blade and this is the uh, stator blade but you know we are concerned with what we are concerned with the rotor blade because energy transfer takes place over here okay so you can see here yahan pe jo aapke paas absolute velocity hai na absolute velocity is here this is inlet remember inlet is from up there okay uh, this is absolute velocity and and the angle made by the absolute velocity with the the direction the axial direction okay or the axis of uh, rotation of the drum is uh, denoted by alpha right and uh, you know this is the blade velocity theek hai ye jo vb dikhaye gaye hai from here to here this is the vb blade velocity and the vectorial you know uh, difference between v and uh, vw this is known as vr and the angle made by this vr with the the axis of rotation of uh, are the axis of the compressor isko hum kehte hain beta ab aap ye ek question arise okay then we are having two components v velocity of whirl and here iska jo dusra component hoga that will that will be velocity of flow now you can say that uh, here we are having uh, the flow direction is like this but uh, the absolute velocity direction is like this so it is because of what because of having guide vanes over here to yahan pe jo hai na ye direct entry nahi hoti yahan pe ye guide vanes hoti hai hamare paas theek hai guide vanes and these guide vanes based on their tilt or their angle of incidence it can change the velocity direction theek hai to absolute velocity ki direction jo hai na isliye jo hai change hoti hai from this straighter one to this one theek hai similarly the outer velocity triangle ko bhi agar aap dekh le so this is uh, you know this will be the Uh, this is the absolute velocity at uh, exit this is at uh, inlet so v1 and the same vb over here in this direction right and uh, their vectorial difference is uh, vr1 and the angle made by v1 with the axis is uh, alpha1 and the angle made by vr1 with the axis is uh, your beta1 okay so this is the outlet velocity triangle and this is the inlet velocity triangle this is a single blade ठीक है ये सिंगल ब्लेड है आपके पास तो सिंगल ब्लेड भी की ऊपर इनलेट एंड दिस इज आउटलेट वेलोसिटी ट्रायंगल दिस वाज द दिस वाज द सेपरेट वेलोसिटी डायग्राम्स एंड इफ यू कंबाइन देम एग्जैक्टली इन दिस मैनर बिकॉज़ वी बी इज अ कॉमन ओवर हियर ठीक है ये वी बी है आपके पास तो यहां पे जो है ना आपके पास क्या होगा यू कैन जस्ट कंबाइन देम सुपर इंपोज इनलेट एंड आउटलेट ट्रायंगल ऑन ईच अदर एंड यू विल गेट दिस कंबाइंड वेलोसिटी डायग्राम ठीक है इसको जो है ना आपने इस तरीके से ड्रा करना होगा राइट वी आर यू नो व्हाट इज यू नो बी1 व्हाट इज बीटा1 अल्फा1 बीटा एंड अल्फा द एंगल मेड बाय द एब्सोल्यूट वेलोसिटीज विद एक्सिस इज डिनोटेड बाय अल्फा एंड अल्फा1 द एंगल मेड बाय द रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी विद एक्सिस ऑफ द कंप्रेसर आर एक्सिस ऑफ रोटेशन दैट इज डिनोटेड बाय बी एंड बीटा एंड बीटा1 एंड दिस इज रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी एट एन एग्जिट रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी एट uh you know inlet and absolute velocity at inlet and this is absolute velocity at exit and uh, vw is the the component of the relative velocity sorry the component of the absolute velocity which causes whirl and this is velocity of flow and same is the case for this v1 also okay so and down there agar aap thoda sa dekh le yahan pe so this is uh, blade velocity vb for both is in uh, for both are the same as i told you velocity of flow is also equal so you will see that relative velocity in outlet triangle is less than that in the uh, obviously because of friction right we are one jo hai na wo we are se kam hoga because of friction friction wahan pe hota hai agar friction ko aap ideally zero uh, one uh, uh, 
یعنی نلیفائی کر دیں تو کے ول بی ایکول ٹو ون اینڈ وی آر ول بی ایکول ٹو وی آر ون اینی ویز سو یہاں پہ ورک ڈن ہیونگ دا سیم فارمولا پاور کمپریسر پر کی جو آف یور ڈائریکٹلی یہاں پہ لکھا ہے چاہ ناٹ ان ان کیس آف فورس بٹ جسٹ دس از وٹ پر کے جی مینس آپ کے پاس دس ون از ایم ڈاٹ جو ہے نا دس از یونٹی رائٹ سو ریٹ آف چینج آف مومنٹم جو ہے نا دیٹ از یور فورس ریٹ آف چینج آف مومنٹم کیا ہے دیٹ از یور فورس ایم ڈاٹ ان ٹو ویلاسٹی ڈیفرنس تو ایم ڈاٹ ان ٹو دس ویلاسٹی ڈیفرنس دس ول بی یور فورس اینڈ اف یو ملٹیپلائی دا فورس ود وی بی دیٹ ول بی یور ورک ٹھیک ہے پاور جس کو آپ کہہ سکتے ہیں سم ٹائمز ورک فیکٹر اچھا سم ٹائمز جو ہے نا ورک فیکٹر اس کے ساتھ ملٹیپلائی کیا جاتا ہے وٹ از ورک فیکٹر اچھا یہ چیز امپورٹنٹ ہے یہ آپ کے بک میں بھی شاید ڈسکس کیا گیا ہوگا ریمبر ورک فیکٹر از بیسیکلی ان سمپل ورڈس اٹ ٹیکس اٹ ٹیکس کیئر آف دا لاسز اوور ہیئر آر دا ایزامشنز اوور ہیئر ٹھیک ہے لائک وٹ یو نو وی ہیو ایکچولی بلکہ یہاں پہ چلے آپ دیکھ لیں یو نو ہیئر لیٹ سے دا ایئر انٹرز ٹو دس روٹر دس کمپریسر سو ہیئر دس از دا ایئر اوکے دیٹ از امپنجنگ ایٹ دا آؤٹر ٹپ ٹھیک ہے ایئر جو ہے نا یہاں پہ بھی آپ کے پاس آ سکتا ہے ٹھیک ہے دا ایئر از امپنجنگ ڈاؤن دی ایئر ایٹ دا روٹ رائٹ سو دس از ایکچولی دا بلیڈ ہائٹ ٹھیک ہے سو وی آر کنسڈرنگ دیٹ دا ایئر بیسیکلی امپنجز ایٹ اے مڈ ہائٹ ٹھیک ہے ٹھیک ہے اوبیسلی ڈفرنٹ ہوگا نا یہاں پہ جو ہے اس کی ولاسٹ ڈفرنٹ ہوگی مینس دا if you are considering the blade okay so the velocities will be different but we are considering that the air actually impinges at what at a the mid height okay so this is why this assumption is uh, and there are also some other assumptions okay so we are considering that the air flow will be laminar okay although it's a little bit turbulence so for that reason jo aapke paas uh, uh, work factor hai na اس کو ملٹیپلائی کیا جاتا ہے ٹھیک ہے کہ ٹو ٹیکل آر ٹو ٹیک کیئر آف دیز ایزامشنس وی ان آرڈر ٹو فائنڈ آؤٹ دا ایکچوئل ورک ڈن بائی دا کمپریسر آن دا ایئر ٹھیک ہے یو نیڈ ٹو ملٹیپلائی دس ورک فیکٹر ٹھیک ہے یعنی ایکچولی جو ہے نا آپ کے پاس ورک ڈن جو ہے وہ کم ہوگا لیکن ورک فیکٹر جو ہے نا اس کو تھوڑا سا بڑھائے گا کہ ورک ڈن جو ہے نا اس لیے زیادہ وہ ہوا ہوا ہے ٹھیک ہے So this is actually the formula and uh, there are some, this is some slide that is comparison of centrifugal and exit flow compressor, self-explanatory here, both say they accept name, but I'll the centrifugal compressor and this is exit flow compressor. So the flow of air is perpendicular to the axis of compressor. Radial flow is co perpendicular, okay? Any axis of compressor, you have, us major, this is for example, axis of compressor and this is uh, the radial entry. So this angle is 90. They are saying perpendicular. The flow of air is parallel to the axis of compressor. For that reason, this is known as axial flow compressor. Okay? It has low manufacturing and running cost comparatively to this one. Here, the running or manufacturing cost is more. As I told you, the blades particularly, okay, they are having aerofoil cross-section. So, its manufacturing is compared to the impeller over here. This is costly. Okay? And... It requires low starting torque, right? Just uh, if you provide some pretty well, okay, so it will start and, you know, the impeller then rotates, okay? And it requires high starting torque. And um, it is not suitable for uh, multi-staging. It's not multi-staging, it's not easy to do. It's not easy to do, it's not easy to do, as you saw over there. Okay, that we have uh, uh, rows and, uh, you know, blades and stators stage, okay? So you have to multi staging. It requires larger, large frontal area. Obviously, frontal area is more than this. Its frontal area is not as much. Okay. And this length is more than this. They are lengthy but uh, a bit compact form, right? And for that reason, they are used in the aircraft. Okay. Its frontal area is more than this. So you cannot use it in the aircrafts because of having more and more drag force. Okay. Uh, applied on the surface or the frontal area of the compressor. So for that reason, they are 
आर यूज्ड इन द दिस वन ओके दिस इज एक्चुअली एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कंप्रेसर को अगर थोड़ा सा आप देख लें सो दिस येलो वन इज रिसिप्रोकेटिंग कंप्रेसर एंड रेड वन इज सेंट्रीफ्यूगल कंप्रेसर एंड दिस ग्रीन वन इज अ एक्सियल कंप्रेसर्स राइट सो दिस इज द डिजाइन प्रेशर एंड दिस वन इज वॉल्यूम फ्लो रेट सो इफ यू वांट यू नो to use it for uh, very high pressures but your requirement for the flow rate or the volume uh, the volume flow is uh, not too much you can use this reciprocating compressor but if you want <coughs> that um, at the same time we are having the the more uh, pressure we want more pressure but uh, also a bit more uh, volume flow so you can uh, use this uh, centrifugal compressor but if you want um relatively low pressure but too much volume volume flow so you can use the axial flow compressor and it is the case in the aircraft engines okay because over there we want to have more and more flow over there because uh, that flow is then you know uh, exhausted okay or that flow is then exits through the nose and the propulsion or the jet propulsion is uh, produced over there theek okay? hai so ye choice of uh, compressor hai kis jagah ke upar kya aapne use karna hai right there is another thing that is related to <coughs> axial flow compressor isko hum kehte hain degree of reaction a simple thing what degree of reaction is it is an important term in the field of axial flow compressor only which may be defined as the ratio of the pressure rise in the rotor blades to the pressure rise in the compressor in one stage theek hai kya matlab hai iska ki the pressure rise the pressure rise in the rotor blades rotor blade mein kitna pressure rise hota hai and pressure rise in a single stage theek hai to in dono ka jo ratio hota hai na isko hum kehte hain degree of reaction more is the degree of reaction more will be the you know the प्रेशर प्रोड्यूस्ड वर हियर ठीक है तो यहाँ पे जो है ये कहता है कि एज अ मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट द डिग्री ऑफ रिएक्शन इज यूजली केप्ट एज ए पॉइंट फाइव या फिफ्टी परसेंट ठीक है इसका क्या मतलब है फिफ्टी परसेंट का मतलब ये है कि हाफ लेट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाफ ऑफ द प्रेशर लेट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल इज इंक्रीज इन 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 स्टेज इज लेट से टू यूनिट्स सो हाफ ऑफ इट शुड बी इन द ब्लेड्स ठीक है यानी मीन्स हाफ ऑफ इट शुड बी यू नो इंक्रीज इन द रोटर ब्लेड्स ठीक है सो द प्रेशर राइज इन रोटर ब्लेड्स विल बी हाफ ऑफ व्हाट इज देयर इन द यू नो इन द होल स्टेज ठीक है तो इसको पॉइंट फाइव रखा जाता है मीन्स फिफ्टी परसेंट रखा जाता है ठीक है अमूमन अच्छा अब फिफ्टी परसेंट जब हम रखते हैं तो इसके लिए एक कंडीशन है कि हाउ प्रैक्टिकली इफ यू वांट दिस डिग्री ऑफ रिएक्शन शुड बी 50 परसेंट सो व्हाट शुड बी नो द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन एंड व्हाट शुड बी यू नो द द द शेप ऑफ द आर द क्रॉस सेक्शन आर द शेप ऑफ द यू नो दिस ब्लेड्स ओवर देयर ठीक है तो उसकी तरफ हम जाते हैं so mathematically degree of reaction is pressure rise in rotor blades ye cheez hai acha is baat jo hai na compression you need to multiply the pressure rise the per stage multiply convert it to pressure energy okay so so this is the pressure right mv square half mv square is the you know half mv square is a uh, wait let me check this uh, connection mera khayal hai ki ye connection thoda sa ho gaya hai Okay, we are here. 
right right so this is what half m square hota hai hamare paas theek hai we have half m square the kinetic energy so this is what kinetic energy at entry is half m is taken as unit over here so half we are one square right and this will be half we are one sorry we are square and this will be we are one square so this is change in kinetic energy right of the working fluid at entry and exit and this energy or kinetic energy is imparted or it is converted to fluid and the pressure will increase by this one right similarly we just discussed over here that uh, you know pressure rise in a single stage theek hai ye pressure rise hai theek hai that is what that is the work done by the compressor on air theek hai ye abhi hum discuss kiya that is what that is converted to pressure energy theek hai per stage abhi isse pehle humne discuss kiya for axial flow compressor right so if you uh, just you know simplify this this is this will be the combined velocity diagram with 50% degree of reaction ठीक है 50 परसेंट डिग्री ऑफ रिएक्शन के लिए अगर आप इसको करेंगे ना तो इट विल लुक लाइक दिस ओके एंड लेटर ऑन फ्रॉम दिस फिगर ओके दिस इज 29.9 आई थिंक यस फ्रॉम दिस फिगर दे आर सेइंग दैट इफ यू वांट टू फाइंड आउट दैट यू नो इसी फिगर्स के साथ ही है अच्छा सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस ड्रा अ कंबाइंड वेलोसिटी डायग्राम फॉर एन एग्जिट फ्लो कंप्रेसर विद डिग्री ऑफ रिएक्शन एज अ 0.5 राइट सो फर्दर जो है ना इसको थोड़ा सा इसी डायग्राम से डिस्कस किया गया है वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिम फर्दर बिकॉज दिस इज एक्चुअली थोड़ा सा इसमें जो है ना जस्ट मैथमेटिक्स इन्वॉल्व है वो इंजीनियरिंग इन्वॉल्व हेयर सो फ्रॉम दिज मेट्री ऑफ द फिगर वी फाइंड दैट वी बिकॉज वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन वट वी आर इंटरेस्टिंग इन बेसिकली इन दीज थिंग्स वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट ऑल दीज थिंग्स राइट वी आर वी आर वन वी बी v w 1 and v w we are interested in this thing in order to put them over here we can find out the degree of reaction for a particular uh, compressor theek hai to baad yahan pe jo aapke paas you know these calculations are purely to draw what to find out what to find out v w ab v w kya hai v w from this particular figure is equal to this one a b minus a e this is your a b right this is a b minus a e so this will actually give you vw now a e or ab kya hai you can find out from this you know uh, uh, this is equally this one vb minus vf tangent beta simple hai similarly you need to find out vw1 so put them over here you will see that this is equal will do the difference between velocities and uh, if you want to find out we are and we are one okay so they can but i will suggest a so now we have the difference between the relative vela absolute relative velocities uh, sorry the relative velocity is entry and exit and velocity of well over here okay so you can just put them over here okay and you can find out uh, this uh, r is equal to this one and uh, then further they are saying that if what is r r is basically degree of reaction so let's say for example if your degree of reaction is 50% so you need to put 0.5 over here theek hai to 0.5 jo hai na aap yahan pe put kar le and further simplify kar le so you will be having vb that is velocity of blade and this velocity of flow right and from the geometry they are saying that we find that vb by vf jo hai na vb by vf theek hai kis geometry se from that figure 29.9 you will see that Uh, v b by v f is equal to tangent alpha plus tangent alpha one. So this means that well, let's say for example this is with equation one, right? You can put in place of v b by v f you can put what? You can put tangent alpha plus tangent alpha one, right? And at the right side this is equally over this thing. So tangent alpha plus tangent alpha one in place of v b by v f is equal to tangent beta plus tangent beta uh, one. And from here you can see that what your beta, okay, this uh, your beta is uh, 
angle beta is equal to angle alpha 1 and your angle beta 1 is equal to angle alpha okay so this means that it is thus obvious that for 50 percent degree of reaction the compressor will have symmetrical blades so if you practically ensure that the blades of the compressor are symmetrical in in configuration so you can say that that we can obtain the 50 percent degree of reaction where half of the pressure rise will be due to rotor blades and uh, your remaining half you know uh, the, the other one will be uh, stator so total means half of the pressure is uh, raised okay are increased by rotor blades and half will be increased by the stator blades okay so this is na totally per stage aapke paas two units increase hoga this is actually known as a degree of reaction okay ye axial flow compression ke sath hai aap kar sakte hain iske upar ek example hai aap isko aasani se kar sakte hain this is based on the the same you know uh, triangle just you have to look at this an exit flow compressor with a compression ratio of uh, compression ratio is 5 draws air at 20 degree c and delivers it at 50 degree c these are you have given t1 and t2 etc okay compression ratio p, p2 by p1 being given here. assuming 50 percent degree of reaction r is a Point, you know, VF up in find corner have blade velocity VB is 100 meter per second. Also, find the number of stages. This is important, okay? Also, find the number of stages in, in order to increase pressure from one unit to five unit. Okay, how many stages should be there in the axial flow compressor? Okay, who I'm gonna find out can I take work factor is equal to this one alpha, beta, CP, etc. Is are you have to give one okay? So, barhal is work workout karein. Uh, there is no difficult thing over there, but just you need to look at this. Uh, you know, um, this will be the total work required. Is ne find out kya hai? Total work required wo hi hai cha. This one. Uh, where is that? This is the, the PA per stage hai total work. Shayad kis jaga ke upar inhone? Ha. This is the total work. So total work required. Okay, in order to get are in order to increase the pressure from one to five units five bar okay and uh, then um, per stage we have to find out kya hai. so this is actually per stage that is 5.55 kg per kilogram right so very simply you know uh, if you want to find out number of stages then you need to have total work required divided by work done per stage so it's a general four five point four so is there a, you need to round this and you can say that if you have six stages of the exit flow compressor you can get this uh, pressure ratio okay so if you increase uh, this uh, number of stages this will also increase okay and if you decrease it this will also decrease so for that particular pressure ratio you can have this uh, uh, six stages of the exit flow compressor right so this is actually the end, end of uh, uh, this uh, particular uh, lecture and um, uh, you need to uh, as far as the, the problems are concerned uh, particularly for chapter 11 so you need to uh, practice those problems for which we actually discuss the topics okay so the topics that we discussed in chapter 11 and uh, the example that they are related to those topics are the problems related to those topics you need to cover them for the final term exam right thank you very much